Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Tylerius, aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right. In this video, we're going to be making a review on the RC Bandito. All right. I'll be talking about this. We'll be checking out the customization, some of the features. And uh, I'm going to let you guys know, you know, what I think about it. And definitely let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. All right. Let's check out the pricing in the description. Let's get right into it. Bam. So this bad boy is 1,590,000. Yeah, that's expensive for a toy car. But if you've been grinding this past week, you probably have enough to afford it. Always follow my five to one rule. If you have five times the amount, you'll have plenty to be able to afford it and keep moving with your income, all right? Let's check out the description. All the danger, none of the risk. This little devil is fully weaponized. And what's more, when you inevitably drive over the proximity mine you just laid, then the only thing that'll be reduced to ashes is your pride. If you want the indescribable pleasure of seeing your enemies flee in hysterical panic from a whiny toy car, this is the only game in town. It says, please note the RC Bandito must be stored in an arena workshop. It can also be modified there at the RC Bandito workshop. So, yeah, there is a little bit of a paywall there. Well, a big bit. You got to at least pay a million bucks for a arena uh, garage and if you want to modify it, you have to have the workshop. However, to do the races, you do not have to have that. All right, once you buy it to access the vehicle, go to the interaction menu, go to inventory, and go to where it says Request RC Bandito. Then it just spawns you inside the car. Now, on your radar, you will have an icon. Uh, I was in an invite-only lobby, so I do not know if you are invisible like previous information has suggested. Uh, apparently, with previous information that we've had here, it says that uh, you're basically invisible on the radar to everybody else but i did not have anybody in there to test that you guys let me know in the comments down below if that's the case here will be where you modify the rc bandito it's inside your actual modify uh or your modification garage for your vehicles your workshop all right you just go up to the little toy car right there hit the right arrow key and bam you're inside to be able to modify it so let's check out the modification the remote bomb 261,000. Then you have 21 different types of lids or body styles. You got, uh, you know, gang burritos, big brats. You got off-road, you know, dune buggy styles, the trophy truck, all that with, without spoiler. So pretty cool little features right there. They all charge around 25000 Between twenty and twenty-five grand is what you're going to have to pay to uh, swap out your lid. So no big deal. That's, that's workable, right? got your proximity mines only ones you can use are the kinetic or the emp kinetic will just kind of have a little magnetic uh burst that kind of like pushes cars around the emp has a electromagnetic pulse which will disable the vehicles so they're both good they're both fun use whichever one you want and you saw the pricing there for them uh let's see here we got different kind of liveries in there there seems to be 10 of them uh, decent right there not too bad you can do uh your primary and secondary color options plus that'll all be dictated by the type of lids you use as well you can customize a little toy driver you can change the color of his helmet and the color of his actual body or his jacket you have the vertical jump the 100 percent will be 199,000 around 200 grand so i would probably recommend that because it does help you get over like uh you know uh, curbs and jersey barriers and things like that a little bit easier to kind of get around and and uh and drive and stuff like that so swap out the tires if you want to but that's it no performance upgrades so once again you don't have to have an actual bandito if you want to participate in the race uh, once again to call it in go to interaction menu go to inventory and then select the rc bandito car and you have the different key commands to activate your mine, your jump, your detonation. It's very similar to what we already know. So from playing around with this thing, man, and kind of giving you guys an overall, you know, opinion on this and overall review. Is it expensive? Yeah. Uh, there's, you know, you're behind paywalls and things like that. It's a multiple million dollar vehicle, uh, including customization. It does have the potential to be a griefing tool. This thing, even though it's a toy car, can take a lot of abuse. It takes several explosives. It takes, um, I mean, it's damn near impossible to shoot this thing with an actual machine gun or anything like that. Or, um, yeah, it's just, it's just dumb. I, it's just not. It's so stupid. I think that you know, if you shoot it a little bit, it should destroy it. That's kind of like the balance to it. But there is no balance in that regard. So it does have the 
the possibility of being a griefing tool. One thing that it does not have going for it, it's not that fast. You can outrun it. Um, however, it is very agile and nimble, so it can get into a lot of tight spaces and change uh, direction very quickly. So there's that. You know, uh, it only holds three mines, uh, and of course, it can you know detonate itself after just a few seconds. So, I mean. I don't know. It, it's of course it's cheesy. It's corny. The races are really fun. I do enjoy the races. Uh, they're pretty cool. So there's uh, definitely more negatives than positives with this vehicle. Uh, it's very expensive. You have paywalls. Uh, there's you know once again I do believe you go off the radar with this. If not, I don't think it matters too much. Uh, it, this vehicle is kind of difficult to destroy, so that can be an issue. I mean, you know, it's just typical Rockstar being typical Rockstar. If you've been grinding the past couple of weeks, you know, making some good money and stuff like that, you could definitely afford this and get it. Uh, even a workshop and a arena war uh, or the Maze Bank, you know, location. It's a couple million plus this. You're looking at about a $4 million investment overall for everything once it's said and done. So, I mean, between 3 and $4 million. I mean, there you go. Do you have to have it? No. Even for the races, for double money, you don't have to have one. Um, so, but yeah, it is. It could definitely be seen as a griefing tool, as a troll uh, tool. So just look out for it. You know, uh, it is what it is. That's the, you know. So, whatever, right? Anyways, though, follow me on Twitter at TylariusYT. Check out my Instagram, Tylarius underscore YT. Check out my merchandise. I got some fire merch. You can go to redbubble.com, search Tylarius, or spreadshirt.com, search Tylarius. I got hoodies, t-shirts, socks, clocks, coffee mugs, you know, girl clothes, guy clothes, baby clothes, everything, man. So subscribe to the channel for the Ilsa Reels content, the game. Make sure you smash, I mean, smash that like button. You guys stay dangerous. Peace out. Yeah.